Live at Five, Paul O'Grady is back with special guests Alan Carr and Jerry Springer. First on four, here's Deal or No Deal. Twenty-two identical sealed boxes, in one of which is a quarter of a million pounds. Welcome to Deal or No Deal. Hello, pilgrims. They are so fired up. Ah, well, I'm not surprised they're enthusiastic. What a fantastic game we had on Saturday. We're all feeling pretty good because, well, it twisted and turned and she got the respect to the banker. She wrote in the book her target, which was £10,000. And her offers were over £10,000. They just built and built and built which fortunately for Steph was matched with perfect timing and she got out with £25,000 and the game then went straight through the floor. Well done, Steph. It was very emotional, most enjoyable and it's made us feel very good at the start of the week. <laughs> oh dear, I'm just looking at that lot because I get these special files on these people and I know a little bit more about these players than they probably realise. This is Dennis, who's a retired actor. He once played the lead in The King and I on Ice. And talking of ice, Simon rode a donkey to the North Pole. Ollie breeds kippers, and Mario is actually a woman. Judy, in her spare time, is a pole dancer. All human life is here. Whatever your dark secret, you are now about to go very public. Tony. Yeah! He's away like a rocket. Come on, Tony. Thank you, Noel. Welcome to your game. Thank you very much. Tony Johnson from Wolverhampton, a retired security officer. Yes. What's the most frightening thing that's happened to you? Violent patients, drunks. There's a never-ended list. Really? In a yeah. hospital? Yeah, in a casualty department. I mean, at times, it was really enjoyable, mm. the job. Some nights was awesome. Now, changing the subject dramatically, you're quite a ladies' man, aren't you? Me? No, don't. He's been married. It says in the file he's been married five times. I don't think so. <laughs> and your current girlfriend is 22 years old and is a model. Is she? That's news to me. <laughs> On the other hand, you've been married to Margaret for 48 years. Oh, I am, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Margaret. Now, is this Battle of the Buddhas? You seem to have a bigger one than the one we had on Saturday. Yeah, that's, that's Bud. That's Bud? That's what the granddaughter calls him. Oh, really? And she, and she bought it, Margaret, as a good luck symbol. OK, so do you mind if I put Bud down to one side? No, certainly, certainly. I think we'll put him there. One of your dreams is to go to Canada? Yes, it is. Why Canada? Well, in 1960, we were offered the chance to go to Canada. But Margaret's dad was on his own. She'd lost her mum and uh, we didn't want to leave him on his own reading a family, so we decided against it. Mm -hmm. And we said, if ever we got the opportunity, we'd go. Great. Well, hopefully yeah. this is going to be the opportunity. You never know, do you? No? Never know. Are you happy to crack on? Yeah, fine, whenever you are. I need you to confirm you chose box 16 at random before the game began. I did. It is sealed by the independent adjudicator who seals all 22 boxes and is the only person who knows where the money is. I did. OK, then. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> Go 
going. You're, it's like having AJ back, isn't it? <laughs> Let's start off with number 15. Dennis, please. Dennis, my dear, I love it. The first. Dennis, how good to have you at our premiere. How kind. Come on, Dennis, make it the royal box. Thank you, Dennis. <laughs> Number 22, please, Nicky, if you would. You're a lovely gentleman, and I hope it's a blue for you. Thank you, Nicky. Number 11, please, Lorraine. Thank you, Lorraine. Tony, I hope it's blue. You're such a gentleman. Thank you, dear. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing all these Ruby's hand signals? Tummy. Ruby's tummy. Oh, all right then, OK. <laughs> What, in the middle of a round? You'd rub yeah, his tummy? Yeah, it looked good Well, that goes completely against etiquette, that does. I you never to, rub in, I in the middle. I do it every day. You give it a rub every day? Yeah. Yeah, yeah but not in the middle of a round. Yeah, every time. Oh, I think that spells disaster myself. <laughs> Number 3, Judy, please. Well, Tony... My crystal ball is really vibrating. Is it vibrating today? I have a strong feeling. Good yeah. luck, Tony. Thank you. Oh. What did no, I say? You shouldn't have said anything, no. You did the rub. And that's what happens. Number 18, please, Shaz. Good luck, Tone. Thank you. 35,000. <laughs> Blow me. That had a bit of a sting in it the did, tail. It did, didn't it, yeah? It was kind of all going very well. Very and then well. Margaret intervened. <laughs> I'm not taking the rap for that. You intervene. <laughs> we have a rub after the phone call. These people have come along here without understanding the rules. You tell them now. Hello, banker. I'm to watch. I'm here to help them. You like the mid-round rub. <laughs> He's very happy now. He's very happy, banker. JC, yes? <laughs> Don't go there. <laughs> I think he's suggesting that your threats were very hollow in the other game, because yeah. this is uh, two mornings now. He's woken up without the horse's head in bed with him. Yeah. Which, which, which would have made uh, a big change for him uh, to waking up with Elaine. <laughs> He's asking for it, isn't he? <laughs> he really is. Oh, who's Elaine then? I thought it was his wife. His daughter! <laughs> <laughs> Tony always does big numbers. I've had twice as many reds as you've had blues. Yeah. Tony the Typhoon. Tony the Tempest. Tony the Tornado. <laughs> oh, it was a weather report until this one. <laughs> Tony the Tiger! Oh. <laughs> oh, my word. Uh, he says you're going to need your tiger claws. Because the offer right now, with a quarter of a million gone, is 900 quid. 900 quid? <laughs> <laughs> He's upset it. <laughs> 900 pounds, that's a bit... It's almost humiliating. I'm ready to 
yes or no? 900 pounds, deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you. Thank you. Number 10, Sarah, please. Sarah, you're on. Good luck, Tony. Thank you. Ooh. Oh, my word. <laughs> Hundred thousand's gone. Big hole now. Number two, Simon, please. Tony. <laughs> Thank you. Very good luck. Thank you. Oops. Oh, my word. 75,000. Oh, dear. You realise you are on the verge of greatness? Oh, no. Nobody has ever taken the Power Five in consecutive boxes. And that is what you are on the verge of doing. Yep. And... As cruel as it sounds, Tony, it's the reason why every single person watching will be back right after this break. Will he do it? You don't want to do that, do you? No. Go in the Hall of Fame? No. Nope. Well, then, don't. you've got to avoid 50,000. This is an astonishingly bad run. Right. Seventeen, James, please. James, he's on the verge of something that is highly undesirable. A place in the Hall of Fame for the worst run in the Power Five we've ever had. So, give a blue, please. Come on, James. I'm going to do this for you, Tony. Thank you. Oh, Trump's oh. 10,000. You do like your reds. <laughs> I've seen that look before. When people have had a bad run, they lose concentration. I think I lost you for a moment there, didn't I? You didn't realise that you had your three. No, I didn't. Sorry. No, it's all right. Don't apologise. But I want you to focus on this. Yep. And accept the fact this is not going to be a barrel of laughs. No. Hello. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm wrong. It is a barrel of laughs. Oh, he says, would you all be kind enough? to pop out after this show and buy your own big Buddha. The bigger, the better. <laughs> there are extraordinary circumstances under which he delivers an offer and follows it with a laugh. And I'm no, afraid no. we've got an extraordinary set of circumstances here. Your offer at this point, Tony, for box number 16 is Ninety pounds. <laughs> I'm ready for question now. Yeah. Yep. Ninety pounds, deal or no deal? No deal. Ashley, number five, please. Good luck, Tony. Thank Hope you. it's low and blue for you. Thank you. <laughs> Mario, number six, please. Uh, 
Super cool. Come on, deliver a blue. Can you do 1p or 10p? Use a 1p. I'll try to do one of the blue ones, Tony. Just for you. Put you back in the game. Thank you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but under the newly constituted rules of the International Box Opening Federation, when the 1P is discovered, it has to be a kiss. <laughs> no tongues. <laughs> yes? No, I just... I didn't want you to be thrown out on a technicality. <laughs> right. Well, this is a dramatic turnaround at the moment. Let's try Debs, number 12, please. Debs, welcome to the game. Good to have you with us. Good luck, Tony. I hope it's a blue. Thank you. Three thousand. <laughs> Three thousand. What a shame it wasn't all blue around. Yes, pity indeed. Mm. What are you thinking, Margaret? Just the game. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> what we'll build, we'll build, you know. It's not just a game. It is. <laughs> it's deal or no deal. I know. It's the lifeblood of the nation. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a game, she said. Said, imagine it's a Steven Spielberg epic. One yep. of the biggest dramas of all time. There's all <laughs> hell going on here. Special <laughs> effects, people being shot, rivers <laughs> cascading through the set. There's people going, oh, it's horrendous. And there's Margaret in the corner going, don't worry, it's just a film. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a movie. Don't get excited about it. It's fine. They mop it up afterwards and everyone goes home. Yeah, I know it was a vastly improved round. I'm waiting to get the money. We've got to do better than 90 quid. Nine pounds. Nine pounds? He must be joking. Well, it's got 5,000 in front of it. Um. <laughs> You're on your way to 90 pence for the next one. <laughs> 900 pounds, 90 pounds, and now 5,009 pounds. Fair offer. It is a fair offer. Yeah. But there's still a lot of money to play for there, Tone. Yep, yeah, exactly. It's almost an even board. It is. At the, yeah, at the moment, no. But would it be time to go at £5,009? I know it would make the trip to Canada a little bit tighter, so to speak, but let's face it, we now know that when she sees the rolling mountains, the fantastic lakes and forests, the tumbling streams of Canada, Margaret's just going to go, oh, it's a bit like the Peak District, but bigger. <laughs> it's a long way to come, wasn't it? <laughs> I think I'm ready to question now. Five thousand and nine pounds. Deal or no deal? Thank you very much, but no deal. Thank you, Tony. That's the spirit. Number twenty, please. Archak. Give me ten p, please. Okay. Here you are. We get a little touch of magic. Yeah. 
Number nine, please, Ollie. Really hope it's a blow time. Just think about it, Tony. Just think about it. £50,000 could be in that box. Think about it, Margaret. You could be going away with £50,000 to go to Canada. You've got a fallback of £20,000. You've got blues to choose. You came with Tony the Typhoon, Tony the Tempest, Tony the Tornado. <laughs> and he could be about to be Tony the Turnaround, Margaret. But don't get excited. It's just a... <laughs> it's just a game. <laughs> Do come back if you can be bothered. <laughs> well It's an epic. His wife might not be impressed, but this is a very, very exciting point in the game. Eight box. We want to get 50,000, 20,000, and 15,000 undiscovered. Number four, please, Jay. Ooh, Jay, there was quite a bit of thought went into that. We want yeah. you to deliver 10 pounds, 100 pounds, 250 pounds. You're turning the game around now. You know, How dare you interrupt me! <laughs> Sorry, no. At a crucial point in the game when I'm trying to explain what we need out of the box! <laughs> and Margaret, you still think this is a boring game? <laughs> it's got drama! Have I upset you? I'm a dream, though. Jay, would you be good enough to open box four? <laughs> no pressure now. La. Thank you. That's all right. That's all right. Right. Tune in tomorrow. I don't think he's going to be here. No. No. Yeah, we'll get somebody else in. <laughs> right, what do we think? Oh, that was quick. Hello. That was quick. Sorry about all the shouting, but there's a distinct lack of discipline down here. Yeah, youth of today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'd certainly count all the cutlery at the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. An improved round. OK, well, he's hoping that this offer, bearing in mind you've been hissing and booing him, uh, is fully appreciated by anyone who isn't made of stone or isn't from Wolverhampton. <laughs> £8,000. It is in there. You think it's there? The way my boxes have been going, there's a very good chance. Does the number 16 mean anything? It's my daughter's birthday. That was Margaret's age when I met her. You met her when she was 16? Yeah. yeah. What do you think it was about you that she first noticed? I don't know. I mean, she may tell you. But... <laughs> <laughs> All she's going to say to me is, well, he's just a bloke and there was nothing else to do. <laughs> £8,000, deal or no deal? Thank you very much, Noel. A very good offer, but no deal. Thank you. <laughs> Doing all these hand signals, what are you doing? It's all right. What's that mean? I just spent that down on the thumb. Well, that was a bad decision. Yeah. You'd have liked him to deal. Mm. Oh. Right, let's go on and prove her wrong.
Number one, Phil, please. OK, Phil, we... Ten pound, please. We normally are just battling the banker, but I feel we're battling Margaret as well. So, producer Blue, please. Right. Yes, we will. Thank you, Phil. Thank you. <laughs> Me and my mate Tony can prove Margaret wrong. <laughs> 19, JC, please. Good luck, Tony. Thank you very much. <laughs> Margaret, if this is an all blue round. Yes. You do realise you'll be wrong. He doesn't take any notice Margaret, of me. Will you concede the fact if this is an all blue round, you were wrong? Yes. And will you streak? <laughs> That'd be different, wouldn't it? <laughs> number eight, Terry, please. Come on, Terry, Come number on, Terry. eight. Come 750. On, Terry. 100 pounds. Come on. Margaret, start on doing those buttons. <laughs> Go. I'll be slow. Oh! <laughs> Making it easy for yourself the way this is going. Very awkward, isn't it? It is awkward. Yeah. Well, we're about to find out whether actually you should have taken Margaret's advice. Hello, banker. <laughs> First time you've ever had mixed feelings about seeing a red. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it is. There's a very large sum of money still in play, and actually, he has a steely determination about him that could um, cost you a lot of money. Thank you. He doesn't want to be savaged by Tony the Tiger. And the offer is nine pounds. Pardon? Wait for it, come on. With nine thousand in front. Nine thousand and nine pounds. Why don't we get her down here? Come on. Come on, Margaret. Thank you. you want to take a seat? Yes. Go all the way, Tony. Hmm? Go all the way. Yep. Oh, you haven't heard that for 48 years. No. <laughs> Let me just caution you, £9,009. I mean, that is, that is serious money. Up to you, Tom. No. You want to? I don't need to go away with nothing. All right, then. Please yourself. Well, I think it's in there. Shall we give it again? You've had all reds, and big reds, every time. See, there's a 15, there's 50,000 in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Nine thousand and nine pounds. Deal or no deal? A very good offer. No, thank you very much, but no deal. Whoa! Now we've got a game. Boy, oh boy, did we have a game. That was great. Number 21, Hillary, please. And we have a blue, 100 pounds. Hang on, we've got Hillary there and the box here. <laughs> oh, sorry, 14, sorry. Well, sorry. Be short, be number 14, really short. yeah. You want yeah. them? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 14. Okay. Hillary, will you please open box number 14? We know what we do not want to see. Yeah. 5,000. That's all right. All right. All right. It's good.
That's the first component in the perfect round at this stage. Now you want the two blues. Number seven, tink, please. We need to find the two blues which make the perfect round at this time. Tink, pull the seal on box seven. To keep us in this game, please open the lid. Oh! Oh! oh. Exactly what we didn't want to see. Fifty thousand is gone. So don't touch that. Okay, it's happened. Now the truth of the matter, guys, is that actually you can go away with more than you've been offered. You've just got to have a bit of belief now, and you've got to avoid 15,000. Yeah. 21, and please. And it is a heartbreaker if now we're going to have an all blue finish. Open box 21 and reveal the blue that lifts the roof. Go, Anne. Here it comes. Think the world of you both. You're right, Margaret. Yeah, fine. Seven hundred and fifty pounds in this box, or fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand is a considerable amount more than that very brave no deal. Yes. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Oh. Well, that's Minxie, because it had your name at the beginning of it. Margaret is going to have a nightmare. Four and a half grand. Four and a half thousand. Oh, that's tricky. That is tricky. No, I'll open it all you want. No, yeah. But do you? Do you want to go on to the end? Yeah. The end. Yeah. OK? Whatever you want. Yeah. OK? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Fine. I'm fine. Yeah, okay. I'm falling down. Okay. Yeah. Ready for the question now? Four and a half thousand pounds. Deal? Or no deal? No deal. Okay, we have an interesting situation. Seven hundred and fifty pound box he regularly pays far too much money for. Has he blown a big opportunity here? The man who has had so many reds when you've been in the West Wing, did he bring a red to the table? Hopefully, the answer to that question is a resounding yes. Oh. Never, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. All right. All right. That's it. It's gone now. Right? Yeah, it's gone yeah, now. It's gone now. We've enjoyed every minute. We've enjoyed every time. minute of the game uh, until that moment. Yeah. It's only a game. It's only a game. It's only a game. Come on. It's only a game. 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 Colin, you're only a bloke. Would you open a red box that's only got 13 on it? Sorry, Tony. There it is, 15,000 sitting over there. Thank you. Oh, my word. In the end, your run of reds came to a halt at the wrong moment. At the wrong moment, yep. Yeah? Yep. But Margaret's enjoyed it. I have. She has, yes. Yeah. Margaret, Tony, I wish it was more. I'm going to miss you both. Yeah. I think you're a wonderful, yeah. wonderful couple. Thank I you wish you and the family you a lot been of a happiness. Pleasure. It's and been please a pleasure. enjoy £750. Pounds. I will. Yeah. Thank you, Noel. And it is easy when we have a big money game.
with these huge life-changing sums to forget that actually £750 is a very nice little bit of money if you'd like that in your hand. And let's just keep everything in perspective. Maybe we should have Margaret here every single game. Just to point out, it's only a game. It's £750. Well, it's only money. See you tomorrow. Next up on for Paul O'Grady's back with Alan Carr and Jerry Springer. What's this? It's garlic white with a hint of vanilla. Mmm. 